Okay guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to add your copier, your Rico copier onto your network. Uh, first and foremost, you gotta make sure you have a network cable connected, a live working network cable, of course. Uh, if you have a Wi-Fi set up on your Rico, then that's a different setup. But uh, I prefer the hard wire, that way it's always steady and never falls off the network or so. So once you have the cable and it's live, and you can see there's a yellow light, that's a good sign. Come up to the front screen. I'm using a Rico IMC 2000. This is one of the newer machines. But if you if you have an older machine, it all works out to about the same. It's just going to look different on the display. So you got to go to your home screen, look for settings, and select machine feature settings, select system settings, interface settings. Now, there's two ways to... Uh, add an IP address to your copier. If you have one that you, if you already know an IP address you want to assign your machine, uh, I'll show you how to do that. And if you don't have an IP address, if you don't know which IP address you want to assign, the copier can find one for you. So let's start with the auto. Okay, so if you don't have an IP address and you want the copier to find one for you, you'll select auto obtain. They do this through DHCP, some people call it dynamic. Uh, it's 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 all the same. The copier will find one for you. So just make sure you select auto obtain, hit OK, and hit exit, and then you'll see that the screen goes gray in the background. So you got to wait. It's actually trying to find an IP address, and there you go. So it's back to normal. So you could go back in here. You'll select uh, interface settings, select the first tab. And there, the copier just found an IP address as you can see here. So you have uh, your IP address and your sub mask. I recommend, once the copier has found an IP address, I recommend you go back to specify and just specify so that it never changes because some routers may change this in the future. If you reset your router or if you get a new router, for example, um, it's going to assign the copier a new IP address and if you've already set up all the printers in your network in your office, you're going to have to go back in there and reinstall it again and that, that could be a pain if you have a lot of computers. So I recommend you doing the specify. Uh, I know a lot of the newer routers, they reserve that IP address based on the MAC address of this copier so it may not change. But I just don't like taking chances. So go ahead and select, write this down and select specify. But before you do that, you have to write that down and you also have to write down your gateway, which the machine also found one for you. So that's very important. Write that down. Um, so now let's go back over here and hit specify. And I'm going to show you how to add that number. So let's go back in here. You're going to type in 192. One six eight zero. Okay, I'm sorry. You have to hit, click change, and now you're going to do one nine two, one six eight, and then zero, and then move this over, and you're going to hit. And this is the IP address again that the copier uh, has changed. You're not going to have the same number. I'm just copying the one that I that the machine found for me. So once you do that, you hit the hashtag here. Now, a lot of times this is not going to change. Uh, just make sure that this is correct. If it is, good. You hit OK. Now, let's go to the IPv4 gateway, which is which is the one I asked you to write down. Make sure it is the same. If it's not, then you'll do the same thing. You'll clear it. You'll move over to the next box. You'll clear it. And let's say clear. Let's say I clear this one. And then just make sure it's the same. So um, if not, you'll just type it in the same way and just hit hashtag. So hit OK, and there you have it. So exit, exit, and there you go. That's how you assign the copy or an IP address and put it on your network. So hopefully this video helps you out. Thanks.